on today's venue, Dairy Queen. Join me. All right, yo, what is up with y'all? Back with another hitter on deck, Dairy Queen. It's been probably about a year. I think last summer I had a flamethrower upon the chin. Uh, I've been thinking about this meal for so, so long, craving it so hard, and this is exactly what I've been thinking about the whole time. I'm super happy to have it, ready to get to it. I also just wanna say right off top, because I've been jonesing this so long, this video is gonna be very pedestrian, really about food enjoyment and appreciation and uh, general thoughts that pop into my head. So what do I have? Many fries. This came with this combo, which is their standard uh, bacon cheeseburger, just a deluxe, like a banquet burger, uh, lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion. And then these are the honey barbecue glazed tenders, which are magnificent. Some more fries, flamethrower sauce. Interested to try them on that with the heat, heat sweet combo. I got some ranch and some ketchup in the back that you can't see. And I have myself a Diet Pepsi over here. We won't pour today because uh, it's just too treacherous with how much ice and everything is in this right now. So we're just gonna have our first inaugural sip. And let me tell you, it's better than BK's because BK's was flat as crap. And uh, this one is not, so that's good. Also these. The crispy O's that I got from the dollar store are making a return. They will be going on this burger. But without further ado, the first thing I want to do is try one of these golden, beautiful barbecue chicken strips of Heavenly God. Wow. Wow. Super good. The honey barbecue sauce. Mmm. Amazing. So amazing. I've been running around all day. Haven't eaten anything today. And, uh, been thinking about this for months. So this is the tech app, easily right now. Okay, let's take it to the realm that I wanted to. The flamethrower sauce on the tender with the honey, honey sweet element. A perfect combo. Sweetness just tames, tames that heat because the flamethrower sauce is pretty legit. I can't, can't be lying to you. All right, next up, these fries. I gotta tell you, DQ, some of the best fries. I'm gonna break it off a little ranch. But DQ has some of the best fries. They just have this crisp. I don't. Uh, it's like a, it's just such a different crisp. They kind of remind me of hockey arena fries on crack. You guys know about hockey arena fries? I do. Because the town I'm from has actually bred the most NHL players per capita to ever Per capita for the city, the most people that ever make it to the NHL from my city. Last time I checked. It might have changed over the years, but I don't think so. Mm. 
Okay. Time to get the burger. And before we do anything, a light uh, <clears throat> onion doctoring. You guys know I'm a sucker for the crispy onion goodness on burgers. And uh, a little closey close for you, cutting it close. Eh? Deku Burger Very reminiscent to Burger King Extremely reminiscent You guys gotta remind me To shop my ice maker off for these videos I always forget and it always acts up You always hear it talking in the back Okay, this one's for you, Steven Sushi the ultimate ranch burger dipper. Just talk and smack. Eight beeps it goes. Very annoying. It does it every few hours, even when I'm sleeping. That's a major downfall of the ice maker is that like, it's an awesome thing to have, but it has to be constantly running in order to maintain the ice. Otherwise it just melts. And then you got to remake the cubes. And it has all these quirky tendencies. Vocally, that I particularly don't like. I said once in a pet peeve video that one of my pet peeves was <clears throat> microwave buttons and microwave sounds. I just really don't think all these beeps and blurps and blops and things are very necessary. Especially eight in a row. Why? How come? Tenders are the uh, star of the show. <sighs> Very much something else. I got this new <clears throat> surface here that I'm eating off, as you can see. Or you may be able to see. It's uh, <clears throat> a cookie sheet. A nice dark space gray, if you will. It has allotted me more space for all the things. Uh, but beyond that, I got it for the fact that I needed a color differentiation because I feel like cutting boards
of the same tone of beige that a lot of fast food is. <laughs> so, I feel like this makes it pop more, right? The food pop off the canvas. Because mukbang is an art form. But yeah, so the uh, the main reason I've been waiting so long to hit this meal for on here is because this DQ is like geographically right near me, so I see it all the time. Therefore, in sight, in mind, like I always see it, I'm like, oh my god, I want to crash that. But because of the world right now, they only had drive through available. And uh, I finally just got my license back where I can drive independently. Again. <clears throat> so I was able to finally independently go there through drive through, get it, bring it home. Because I couldn't just walk up and grab it. Man, that looks so good, eh? And I'm very excited for more of that to come. Now that I'm gonna get half a truck, soon here, a couple weeks. Car banks, different places. Can actually go there, get it fresh. Go places, bring it home that are different. Have access to getting like a proper amount of groceries so I can start cooking again. <laughs> take, uh, take vehicle and groceries for granted, man. Like when you don't have that situation groceries become just like you kind of just got to go almost every day if you're gonna walk there or be like transit or whatever it's just like you can only get so much you can only plan so far ahead because you're gonna have to re-up in like two days because you just can't get a load and then have Everything's stocked so you can last like a week or two weeks or whatever. That's been my life for a long ass time. That said though, <clears throat> when I was in Toronto, for the last couple of years, Metro grocery store was in my condo in the bottom. So it's like, it was like, that was awesome. I could literally just go down, get shit, come back eat, cook, whatever, and just do that every day. Everything's so fresh. That was the hookup. Gentrification, that's fine, but actually very intelligent. Like, 
why wouldn't you want a grocery store right where you live? Because, you know, major cities, most people don't drive. Too expensive. All right. We definitely got to hit the last saucy tender. I don't know if I can mash all these fries or not. Let's do a ranch <clears throat> hot sauce mash up too. It works. Definitely topped out. It's just such a thing with me and fast food. It's like the fries are good for the first few handfuls. And it's near the end when you get full, they just get so negligible. You know what I mean? Kind of cold. Kind of whatevs. <clears throat> All right, that was fantastic. What do you guys want next? Big Macs or tacos? Let me know down below. Only the real ones will prove themselves in this video because you made it to the end and now you get a vote. So please let me know down below. One of the two. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.